image 10 years ago was of high-rise buildings. Uh, and that was the mark of success. We were really focusing on some on con consumerism and we were losing our re real connection with our physical health as well as the health of the planet. So we were just focusing on the wrong things, I think. There wasn't a lot of organic ingredients. Um, there wasn't a lot of products out there without preservatives. And there was no collective thinking in terms of social issues and environmental issues. They weren't put together. You would say sustainability and people would say sustainer what or sustainer who? <laughs> Certainly when I came back in the early 90s, the idea of wind powers having a great future in New Zealand was very much a fringe idea. The words that went along with the early environmental or sustainability pioneers were usually hippies or freaks or alternative lifestylers. All the people in the neighbourhood thought we were complete nutters. They called us the weekend hippies, uh, <laughs> which we probably were. <laughs> we were given such a hard time. It was really tough back then, you know. I think people thought, oh, this is a fad, this is, uh, it's good, but at the end of the day, what does it really mean to us? In the early days, um, we were doing a lot of talking about what's the problem? What's the problem with the environment, the way we look after the environment? What are we doing to our people and why is that a problem? And then we were having to say, so what's the role of business? I had a little bit of an epiphany in a car park one day where I realised that I could go forward and do business, but it would be okay to do it our way. For me, it was, you know, it was almost like a, a blank sheet of paper and saying, you know, well, how could we structure this so that it made sense and, and fitted with our own value set? We knew that organic vegetables not only tasted better, but they were better for you, and they were better for the planet. Looking at what at organics in terms of food production just made sense for the long term. Environmentalism is simply long-term economics. You pay now or you pay later. We are able to demonstrate with actually not a lot of effort that we could make a lot of difference. We had a vision uh, that organic agriculture, organic farming was the way to go, and we're being proved right. All these years, we never really spoke about it. We didn't scream that we were made in New Zealand. We didn't scream um, we care about what we do. We didn't even have on our bag that was recycled, that the bag was recycled. We were just doing it. Typically, movements start in the centre and move out, but I think it's kind of moving the other way. And it's very diverse. Um, but it is very, very positive. There's a lot of awareness now around organics, around fair trade, around good business, and people are out there, they're not just buying things on the dollar, they're looking at things that are a little bit deeper, and they want to support businesses that are doing the right thing. These are the kind of sandals that now we green is wear, all right? <laughs> and I have to look back to 10 years ago and realise that I've come a long way from where we were, and the world has changed a lot and people's minds are totally different in terms of the concept of sustainability. We actually get people wanting to come and talk to us because they believe that what we're doing is absolutely correct and in line with their view of where the world should be and what they should be doing themselves. Everyone's tremendously committed and, uh, and that's one of the things I'm proudest of actually is, is uh, the number of people who've, who've, who've caught the bug and caught the passion and uh, if you like picking up the torch and taking it on. Every time I go around the country, I just meet more and more really excited, born again sustainability people <laughs> who come racing up at me with these fantastic ideas and visions for the future. It's really exciting. <laughs>